Don't you ever try to disrespect me, nigga. Are you losing your fucking mind, nigga? Bring the pussy out, nigga. Bring the baseball bats out, nigga. Bring the steel chairs out, nigga. I'm kicking ass and taking names today, nigga. Fuck you mean, nigga. It's what a boxing, nigga. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. I salam alaikum, what lay for? But what, what, what the fuck that nigga say? What lay for? Salam. Hold on, we got to start that over. I salam alaikum, what lay for? Salam, my black brother. I'm back with some heat. You know, I was on a nigga was on Pornhub. I was a stroke and right now I said, I said, fuck it, nigga. Fuck the skeet skeet action. Let me see what's on Boxing News 24. And I open up the browser, right? I said I open up the browser, right? Can I get a hallelujah? I said I open up the browser, right? Hallelujah, nigga. I said I opened up the browser, right? <laughs> and, then, and then I see on Boxing News 24, it says Spence and Mikey Garcia turned down the Miguel Cotto fight, man. Here's what I have issue. When you when there's an old nigga, you must fight an old nigga and treat an old nigga like an old ass nigga. I'm telling you right now, boxing news twenty. I mean, what a boxing. I'm, I fight Muhammad Ali right now. If he was alive, I fight that nigga. <laughs> you know why? Cause he has a name and he old as fuck. You must treat these old niggas with the most disrespect as possible. Them old niggas, you got to smack them around and you got to fight them like they old, man. That motherfucker, goddamn Earl Spence and Miguel Cotto, they will fuck up a wet dream. God damn, I would have hopped on that shit quick. That nigga is old. Anybody over the age of 32, I'm, I'm whooping your old ass. Fuck the bullshit. I'm, I'm fighting you, nigga, because you old nigga. I'm going to fight you like you old, too, and beat your ass. <laughs> I don't understand Spence, man. That's an alley-oop, baby. That's an alley-oop, baby. That's an alley-oop. When the nigga threw Miguel Cotto up in there, all you had to do was dunk that motherfucker, and you a superstar. How the fuck you gonna pass that up? I would have had a one-on-one sit down with, with Mr. Al Heyman. And I'd have been like, listen here, nigga. That's Miggy Cotto, motherfucker. Big Puerto Rican star shit. Well, I fight that nigga in Puerto Rico. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I beat his Puerto Rican ass all up in the islands, nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's what I would have done, nigga. After the hurricane, mask, I fought that nigga in Puerto Rico, nigga. And, and brought you some more, some more pain and heartache, nigga. <laughs> oh, no, I mean, I ain't playing. I'm here to kick ass. You heard the theme song, nigga. Like, Mikey Garcia, I don't know, man. He might be too, he's too small coming up to fight Miguel Cotto. I don't know where they would fight anyway. 154, maybe. You know, because I know damn well Spence built like me, nigga. Ripped all muscle. I know the motherfucker walk around at least, at least 180. At least 180. Spence is what, 5'10", five, 5'11"? Hey, brother, you you dropped the ball. I don't, I don't, I do not understand why you didn't take that fight. You beat the shit out of Miguel Cotto, Spence. You know it. A little fucking midget. I ought to take that fight, baby. I don't know what the fuck. What the fuck is wrong with you, Spence? I know you ain't ducking that old motherfucker. I know that. I, I, I can't even fathom that thought. I know you ain't ducking that old nigga. Mikey Mike, because he's small and he's coming up in weight. But Spence, baby, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you, Nick? <laughs> You'd have been in on the TV screen of millions and millions, and the rock said millions of white folks. If you turn that money down, I would have fought that nigga for $250. For real, for real. And I ain't playing with ya. Ten round fight. I fought that nigga for ten round fight for, for uh $200. And a second at work. <laughs> You shit, you shit. These motherfuckers out here lunching. Man, I don't even want to click the article. I just read the headline. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Pissed me off to the max. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but it is what it is. I don't know. Why, why would not Earl not want to fight this motherfucker? Spencer, man, you my favorite. You ain't my favorite, but you the best welterweight. Ah, oh, gives no fuck. Let me see what this motherfucker. Let me see what this motherfucker. Fuck the head of say. Oh, it's just uh hearsay. Turn the Kodo fight. Uh let me see what goes to Spence. The fighter that will be facing Kodo on December 2 date. 
is fringe welterweight contender Saddam Ali. God damn. That's a pretty good fight, man. I watched that shit. Saddam a little slick. He can hit hard. Damn, did it even say what weight class it'd be fighting at? What weight class is motherfucker fighting? And Spence could be fighting oh Lamont Peterson and Spence. This must be old because I already know they're they already have that booked. Well, what fight are they fighting at, boy? Okay. Doesn't even say weight class. Fuck it. But I, I would have I'd rather I'd rather fight Cotto than goddamn Lamont Peterson if I were Spence. I don't know what's wrong with him. Fuck wrong with you, Spence? You scared of that Puerto Rican nigga? Oh, I know you you cannot be. I refuse to believe that little. I refuse to believe Spence is, is scared to fight anybody shorter than him. <laughs> that's real. That's real talk. Hey, but I don't know where I'm going with this video. I thought it was fun, man. You know what I'm saying? Mario Garcia, he's he's ordered to fight Jorge Linares. Oh man, I'm not too big on Jorge, man. He I watched his last fight against some. Who was he? Who was he fighting? Was it? Who was it? Luke Campbell or somebody like that? I'm pretty sure it was Luke Campbell. And it was kind of close, man. I think Mike's gonna eat this motherfucker alive. See, the problem with Jorge is the motherfucker's a little chinny, a little chinny for me. Got all the skills in the world, but he gets hit too much. You know what I'm saying? And it's chin suspect, motherfucker. So I'm picking Mikey to win that shit. I'll just do my... I, 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 don't even, I don't even have to think about it. I'll just do my predictions on the spot, nigga. Freestyle action like Biggest Smalls, like, J, like Jay-Z on the track. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, boy, it is what it is. It is what it is, and it is what it will be. What a hoes that. Damn man, I wouldn't have I would have turned down that fight, man. I can't help him. If, even if I were Mikey, man, I hop in the ring with that old. He's old, man. He's old. Miguel Cotto about Miguel Cotto's about 50. He's old. I would have fought that old motherfucker. These niggas out here stupid. I would have fought, man. Sometimes you don't have to sometimes that prestige and that and the name on your on your resume is better than the earnings you will receive for that fight. And that's just straight like that. That's that straight drop cook coke, nigga. That's, that's it. That's, I mean, I would have fought him, man. It's Miguel Cotto. Damn, these niggas are stupid. Shout out to Spence, man. Keep doing your thing, man. How the fuck you gonna turn down a Cotto fight to fight Lamar Peterson, motherfucker? So you got to be a stupid-ass nigga. First of all, you must be stupid if you're in the boxing game. Point, ba point blank, period. You hit, up, hit upside your head for the rest of your life, man. Who knows what can come from that? <laughs> Jesus. These niggas out here smoking that sherm, niggas. I heard you like to get wet. <laughs> Shout out to your boy with a boxer. Spence and Mikey Garcia turned down Kodo fight. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> God damn. I am by far the worst boxing YouTuber on this bitch. I don't give no fuck, nigga, because I'm the flies, you know what I'm saying? And I guess the bitch is wet. How at your boy with a boxer? <laughs> Because Golden Point Promotions, his promoters wanted options on him. It's unclear why Spence turned down the fight with Kodo. Spence fights on Showtime. But man, these motherfuckers don't want to fight on Showtime. Keep it real, all these niggas want to fight on HBO. They ain't stupid. These motherfuckers ain't stupid. All them niggas want to fight on HBO. They want to fight on HBO or goddamn ESPN. They all want to fight on pay-per-view. I bet, I bet they just went... With Al for the money, cause I know in their heart they won't fight for goddamn HBO, motherfucker, cause that shit is litty. <laughs> Y'all Al Haven niggas, hey, keep, you don't even gotta keep it real, cause I, I know you motherfuckers. I know you, I know you like that HBO, uh, the HBO setup. That shit mad litty, right? That shit mad litty. They got their Showtime weak as fuck, nigga. That's like choosing. That's like choosing a goddamn uh, 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 a Mazda over a goddamn Lamborghini. That's just real spit. If you don't believe me, look in the mirror and be true to yourself, bitch. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, baby. Man, I'm about to fuck around and stop making what a boxer shirts, man. Fuck the bullshit, man. Give, give, give me get some merchandise popping in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? For all... I don't even know how many subs I got. About I don't know. It's, it's super low. But I'm gonna keep rocking with you. You know why? Cause what a boxer loves you. Love every last one of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you know what 
Yeah, get the merchandise is gonna be like what a box and Mr. Get the Hose Wet. Mr. Get the Hose Wet up front and on the back of the t-shirt it says, I don't get down like that. <laughs> <laughs> and on the back is what a box and don't condone these faggots. Oh my god, man. <laughs> Something's wrong. Something's wrong with your boy. But why? Why would Earl? I don't care if they have promotion or, or, or uh, political problems, man. You gotta make that fight happen. You won't be a star, Spence. You ain't never gonna be a star. Especially fucking with Al Heyman. I mean, I know the money's good. I've probably done the same thing like you, my brother. But shit, you gotta get that, that top name on your resume. Man, Earl, if, if you would just talk some shit every once in a while, you, I understand you're a nice guy. You want to jeopardize your persona and, and, and your dignity and your morals. But, man, talk some shit every once in a while. You know? Like when I saw that when you were fighting fighting in the street with your cousin or your best friend or something that was a heavyweight, when you start acting like that, talking that shit, mm, sky's the limit, my brother. Hey, but what do I know? I don't know shit. I ain't a boxer promoter. Shit, I'm not even in the box business. I'm in the YouTube business just talking shit because I love the sport. It's mad fun, man. It's pretty sport, bar none. You know what I mean? It's like ballet, but you try to kill a neck. <laughs> That's how I feel about it. Man, hey, you know who it is? Up here talking that shit for how long? It's been 11 minutes? Fuck the bullshit. I'm going to cut it off right here. Spence and Mikey, you disgust me, man. I, I kind of understand Mikey, man. You got to move up a little bit, even though I know you walk around at 160 or 170 or some shit. But you're a short little, you're a short little Me Mexicano. And you don't want to move up and wait, man. Mickey shit, man, fuck it. M Mickey Cotto and Mike Garcia probably damn near the same height. M M Cotto, he a short little midget too. You know what I'm saying? But Spence, there's, you have no excuse, man. He's a top tier name. You would have been the B-side, but fuck it, man. You're younger, man. Why, why don't you fight these old-ass niggas? Man, I'd fight all them old motherfuckers quick for cheap. Just because I need the name on the resume. And that shit is worth more in the long run. I do not understand you. You should have begged. I hey, like, motherfucker, please, this nigga's old. Paquetos para eso, para eso, para eso. Speak to him, that nigga's Spanish or some shit. Tell him you have Puerto Rican, nigga. We can make we can make a Puerto Rico versus Puerto Rico fight, nigga. You know these half of these Puerto Ricans are like niggas anyway. <laughs> I would have walked into the fight with Puerto Rican shit. I would have been on my Tito Trinidad and said I'd have had me a straw hat nigga waving the Puerto Rican flag nigga just fronting. You know what I mean? I would have played some Fat Joe in the background and some, some Cuba links, some shit. And some Daddy Yankee nigga. At, at the very least I would have played some Daddy Yankee nigga or some of that, uh, what's it called? That goddamn Spanish trap. Ooh, that Spanish trap music is, is a little lit, man. My friend was playing this Spanish trap record. I said, oh shit. Hit nigga. Motherfucker felt like a vato in this motherfucker. I was about to shoot a nigga with a dukes, dukes for, 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 for honey, for honey black. You know what I'm saying? I ain't playing nigga. Smoke out the Fanta Leaf, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Puerto Rico's parretos, parastos, caratos, parecas, parezo, adobos with a sasson. <sighs> why, why do you guys listen to me? Why do you guys listen to me? This is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Spence, man. I know you hear the Stone Cold Steve Austin in the background. Get your shit together. Try to get out of that Lamont Peterson fight. Even though I know you can't fuck it, it's already written. It's already booked, baby. Beat his old DC ass, too. Next time you have a big name come across your way, man, don't do shit unless you talk to what a box at first. I'll, I'll take you to the promised land, brother. I'm like Moses, nigga. Follow, follow me to the promised land, nigga. I'll take you there. Let my people go. Motherfucker. You know Follow me, nigga, let my people go. I'm Moses to you, niggas. <laughs> oh, my God. I'll be laughing at my own shit, nigga. I'm crazy. Am I crazy? Why don't I laugh at my own shit? That's just funny. I said, I'm Moses to you, Negroes. Don't do shit, Spence, unless you uh, meet with your fucking advisor with a boxing. You know? Take your monkey ass to the promised land, baby. We going to the promised land together. I just need 25%. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing for, for Spence. I do that shit for free, baby. You my people. Free 99. Just come to your advisor. First, I'm your advisor. Al Hamey doesn't even promote you right, baby. First, we, first, we, first what we going to do is change your hairstyle, nigga. We're going to grow your hair out in many dreads. 
and 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 blind put blind tips in that motherfucker. <laughs> We gonna grow your hair out, baby. Grow your hair out, get some mini dreads, and just blind the tips, nigga. Put some gold, gold teeth up in your grills. <laughs> we gonna get tatted up. We come take you. We, we got, we got to, we got to change your look. We got to change. Oh well, I'm tripping, man. We got to change your looks, Spence. You got to start saying, nigga, at the end of every sentence too. You'll be surprised what that do for your, for your career. <laughs> what we, what we, what I need to stop. Let me chill. 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 I'm just playing with Spence, baby. You my main homie. I don't know why you did that, man. She, yeah, man. I don't know what's wrong with you. You lucky I'm not your cousin. I had told you to. I would have. I would have. I would have ringed your fucking neck like nigga. What the fuck you think? That's Miguel Cotto, nigga. We grew up watching that motherfucker. We grew up watching that motherfucker. Don't you remember Kodo Margarito 1? That was our shit, Nick. We used to watch that shit on replay every night just to laugh. That could have been you. You could have been Margarito without the bricks in your gloves. But it is what it is, baby. Damn, Spence. She, man, if I would have saw that fight, woke up the next morning and saw that you signed to fight Miguel Cotto, oh my God, this shit would have been so dumb lit. I gotta fight that old nigga in Puerto Rico. I gotta keep it 100 with you, folks. Comment below. Tell me what that dumb nigga was thinking. Oh, well. It is what it is, man. You know my slogan. Get with the program or get your head blown off. It's for the boxing.